Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations of Venmo and the Patreon family. We working. Right now, I'm on Guillermo El Chicao Rigandao, his verified Twitter account, and he posed a question I thought it was very interesting. And in his tweet, he says, have you wondered why the Lomachenko fight is not getting the promotion it deserves? So have I. Right? And that's a very interesting point. Like, because amongst the boxing fans, since this fight was announced, I, I forgot what fight I was covering. Maybe Canelo Triple G. But I remember I was covering a fight week because I wasn't home. And the announcement for Lomachenko Rigondeau was made official. And I had heard the rumblings of it, but it was made official. And I remember the excitement. And since that point, people have been really jazzed about this fight. So this is a very good question to me. Is, is why has the promotion been kind of lacking? I feel me as a channel, as a brand, as an imprint, I've done a lot of videos as much as I could to push this fight. I still got more stuff coming, but I keep the fans talking. But yet on the ESPN top rank side, I haven't really seen much and we're less than a month out from the fight. Now King Kong Ortiz, fellow Cuban heavyweight, he says his, his thought process is no, because the promoter thinks Rigging Out might win and doesn't want to make Rigo a star. So, very interesting. I want you guys to tell me what you think of Luis Ortiz's response. But all in all, it's a, it's a very good fight, and it seems like we should be getting like a ton of promotion on this particular fight. Now, just so you guys know, when I make videos and when I'm questioning things, I'm not perfect, but I try to look at the full picture. And the thing is, I, I follow top rank on their Instagram, their YouTube, etc. And if you notice, this is their top rank. They did a camp life for Oscar Valdez's fight. You see episode three, two, episode one. So they did a three part series on his last fight against, uh, I think he fought a Filipino guy. And it was a good fight. They traded knockdowns and whatnot, but that had a, a camp life. So I'm like, okay, that wasn't even a big fight like this. This is gonna be on ESPN. And before that, you see Lomachenko Camp Life, Episode 3, Lomachenko Episode 2, Episode 1, Camp Life Teaser. So to me, it's, it's a little weird that they've, I don't know, promoted, because this was for the lomachenko Mariaga fight. Again, a fight on ESPN wasn't a big fight. And you can see before that, they did a fight announcement press conference right here so to my knowledge I haven't seen anything like that I and I want to see it because I want to see how Rigondeaux looks next to Lomachenko obviously Rigondeaux moving up two weight classes Lomachenko is the bigger guy I believe he's the taller guy but I just want to see how how they look does he look way bigger than Donaire look next to Rigondeaux things like that so this is one of those things that make you go hmm why haven't they put in a little bit more energy into promoting this fight it's a great fight and the ticket sales went they're obviously at Madison Square Garden but it's in the theater but still people are excited for the fight so I don't know if they're they're planning on trying to do it closer to the fight maybe they felt they had to build up the Oscar Valdez's his fight because it wasn't as big it was just like a hometown type of Arizona fight and they felt they needed a camp life in the Madiaga fight. Maybe they feel those fights need a little bit more promotion to, to make the public interested in them. And maybe they're looking at this like Mayweather Pacquiao. Not in, in terms of it's gonna be that successful, but if you remember Mayweather Pacquiao, when it was finally made, they didn't really, in my opinion, they didn't, they half-assed the promotion. They kind of just, you know what I mean, press conference, closed off to the public. They didn't do like a press tour like they did with Mayweather McGregor, stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think it is. Are they just trying to save money? The other thing that's that's very interesting is Top Rank used to co-promote or promote 
Rigondeaux. And even back then, they didn't really they didn't really promote him. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a Rigondeaux thing. Like they're they're just not trying to promote Rigondeaux. I, I I really don't know. So I want to know from you guys what you think it is. Either way, it's a good fight. December 9th. Both fighters look hungry and sound hungry and confident. And this is this is not just a I'm not telling, I'm not saying top rank should go to Rigondeaux's gym necessarily and do a camp life, but your own fighter, I want to see what Lomachenko's camp is looking like. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's because they're on two different coasts. Maybe the cost of, of filming this, I don't know. So I want to know what you guys think. Has the promotion been lacking for this particular fight? I suggest everybody tune in. This is a historic fight. Two two-time Olympic gold medalists going at it for all the marbles some of the best amateurs that we've seen in boxing so for me i just wish it was promoted a little bit more not necessarily from the youtube stratosphere but the big boxes you know what i mean like espn and you know what i mean rock nation and top rank i mean show us something it takes money to make money let me know what you guys think what are your thoughts on this subject who wins? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.